In this video, I will show you how to upgrade from Windows 11 version 23H2 and older to Windows 11 version 25H2. First, on your computer, let's download and install the PC Health Check app from Microsoft. This app helps you check if your computer meets the system requirements for Windows 11. The first method if your computer meets the Windows 11 requirements. Let's open Windows Update. Make sure your Windows is up to date by installing all available updates. Once all updates are installed, you should see an option to upgrade to Windows 11 version 25H2. Just click Download and Install. Windows 11 version 25H2 will download and install automatically. This may take about an hour to finish, so please be patient. When it's done, let's restart your computer. As you can see, Windows has been successfully upgraded to Windows 11 version 25H2. All your data and installed apps are still here. Also, after upgrading, if you don't like Windows 11 version 25H2 within 10 days, you can go back to Windows 23H2 without losing any data or needing to reinstall. This is possible as long as the Windows.old folder on your system drive is still there. This folder is automatically deleted after 10 days which is why you can only go back during this time. To do this, let's open Windows Settings. Select the System section. Scroll down and select Recovery. Click the Go Back button to return to Windows 23H2. If the 10-day period is over or the Windows.old folder has been deleted, the Go Back button will be grayed out. If you still want to go back, you will need to do a clean installation. You can click No Thanks to skip checking for updates. Click Next to continue. If you have changed your sign-in password, after going back to Windows 23H2, you will need to use your old password to log in, not the new one. Finally, Click Go Back to Earlier Build to finish the process. Your computer will restart on its own, and this might take a little while, so please be patient. As you can see, the system has been returned to Windows 23H2 without any data loss or reinstallation. The second method if your computer meets the Windows 11 requirements, but you don't see the upgrade option in Windows Update. You can use the Windows 11 Installation Assistant to upgrade to Windows 11 version 25H2. First, visit the official Windows 11 download website and download the Assistant. Open the downloaded file. If your computer meets the Windows 11 requirements, you will see an Accept and Install button. Let's click on it to upgrade. The tool will download and install the upgrade automatically. Please be patient. Once finished, restart your computer. Just like the first method, you can go back to Windows 23H2 within 10 days of upgrading.
And the last method if your system does not meet the Windows 11 requirements. You will not see the Upgrade option in Windows Update. When you try to upgrade using the Windows 11 Installation Assistant, you will get an error. So, we need to do an in-place upgrade using an ISO file. Let's visit the Windows 11 download website. Scroll down to download the Windows 11 ISO. This step is very important. You need to choose the language for the ISO that matches the current display language of your Windows system. If you choose a different language, when you upgrade, the option to keep your data, settings, and apps will not be available. For example, this computer uses English United States, so I will select English US for the ISO file. Once the file is downloaded, let's mount it to your computer. Select the setup.exe file. Hold down the shift key, then right click on the file and select copy as path to copy the full path of the file. Next, search for CMD. Right click and run it as an administrator. Right click to paste the copied path. Run this command to upgrade to Windows 11 and bypass all requirements. You will see the title install Windows Server, but don't worry, Windows 11 will actually be installed. When upgrading, make sure to select Keep Files, Settings, and Apps to keep everything. Finally, click Install to continue. As you can see, the computer has been successfully upgraded. And like the other methods, you will have the option to go back to the previous version within 10 days. That's it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next videos.